Hello guys, it is me, Tammy Shepard from Tammy's Gaming and Technology. And I'm back with you with another video today showcasing how to install and set up Radio DJ, the current version, which is version 2.0.4.1. Um, I'll be showcasing how to set that up as well as how to set up my metadata script as well, which would allow you to filter your metadata with advertisements and etc. I'll walk you through how to set that up as well in a new system as well. So, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and search monitors real quick, so give me a sec here. So, in order to get started, you're going to want to go to the link in the description, or just go to radiodj.ro in your browser. You want to go down to the download, over here to the download button, hit the download button, and scroll down and click on radiodj 2.0.4.1, and click that link. Um, if you don't already have a MySQL database, I'm going to suggest you to go in and, um, Snip a Linux VPS or um, install the MySQL community server part of RealyJ. I'm not going to walk you through that, that because it's a rather extensive process and I don't really want to do that on my personal computer. So once you have the zip file for RealyJ, you're going to want to open it up and it should open up RINRAR if you already have one installed. If you don't have RINRAR installed, you're going to want to go to rarlabs.com or rarlab.com. Hit the downloads button and download the Times86 one and go through and install it. And then that, once you have this, you're going to want to run, double click on the setup review J2.041 free. And once that runs, you're going to hit yes. And then hit yes again. Hit, and you can get a read the agreement, but it's nothing other than stating that the software is provided as is or whatever. Hit I accept. Hit next. And this will show a change log about all the changes that they've made since version 1.6.2.7. Hit next. And then this will allow you to change their location. I'm going to set my location at e colon slash reuj tutorial. And I'm going to hit next. And then it's going to say the folder does not exist if you'd like the folder be created. Just hit yes. And then install again. And it's going to go through the installation process. This could be slow or fast depending on your PC. Then when it says finished exit setup, we're going to want to uncheck the start database setup and hit finish. Then you're going to want to go to your files and look at the drive you installed it on, which is it would be this drive for me. Open up the folder that you installed it in. For me, it would be Radio J Tutorial. Open up the setup folder and run database setup.exe. So that's going to open this up. You're going to want to enter your MySQL server IP. For me, it would be this. And then database can be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to call it Radio J Tutorial. Tutorial YT. And then the password will be what your password for your database is. And I'm not going to show my password. Hit validate details. It's going to show up with unknown database. Hit install database. So I'll ask you if you really want to install it. Make sure you set up a unique database username if this is your, not your first time installing Radio J. You don't want to overwrite your data. Hit OK. And then if you want to, you can hit Backup Database and go ahead and make a backup, which I just did. That way you have a backup of the original database in case you need to make any changes. Hit OK. Now go back to here. You're going to open up the reuj.exe thing. Open up the reuj.exe executable. And if it opens up successfully, you've installed everything correctly. So once you get into Reuj, you're going to want to set up your sound devices. However, I'm just going to leave mine as the default one, so it defaulted to when I installed it originally. It's going to take rather long, because that's a whole bunch of DLL files. What, you're going to get this window. And what you could do is you could immediately go into the settings. Go to other settings, and then change the color theme if you want to change the color theme. I prefer red-blue color theme. However, there's a bunch of custom ones, so I'll provide a link in the description too. So the main thing you're going to want to do to get this working, go to the Tracks Manager, open that up, and hit Import File or Input Folder, and you're going to want to open up some music. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me some music if I can find some real quick. The triple tune that we're driving, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, that way I don't share any of my files, so give me a sec here. So once you import your files, so some of them are music, like this I'm Good Blue and We're Dumb, We're Young, Dumb and Broke. Um, these would be, um, these would be, says music, and you can also go here, and like for a jungle, you can edit the Q file. 
give you the beneficial thing, you can it's at the next start value, which will be when it plays the next song. So you could overlay stuff. Like I'll set that to that, and I'll show you in a second. Also for sweepers, you can set them up to be like that as well. So you have tight cues on everything, which is what I prefer for my stations. And then you can also do the same thing for your songs as well if you're really wanting to, but I prefer them like this. I prefer them as default. So you can see if, if we go ahead and play if we go ahead and play a track real quick. And hit the play button, it should it should see that it starts playing. Just to give you an idea of what it should sound like, there's a quick um, sound bite. So that should work perfectly there. So you can go and skip to the next, skip to the end of that, and we'll go ahead and skip to the end of that. And I'm going to show you how these tiny cues would work with a file. That, that's how that cue ends. You can see the startup end of that jingle that is still playing. Now it just now ended. That's what you can do with this. In order to make it so that everything is automated, you would want to go to track, and then track rotation, make an, uh, add a new track and set it to music, whatever category you want, hit random. Okay. Make a new thing and you can add your sweepers or jungles if you wanted to. So just setting them to random. And going down and going here and setting everything to the way you want it to be. This is gonna take a while. And then once you're gonna that hit save, and that should save it as a default rotation. And then you can just go here and hit all you can hit yes select rotation. And then it should start um other filling other filling songs like it just did there. So there's nothing in the sleeper category, it's not gonna uh, fill anything into the sleeper category. Because it didn't say anything in the super category. So it should start filling this up and it should automatically put the next track as you go in and finish it. Now, since we're already almost 10 minutes in this video, I'm going to make a part 2 in a second. We'll make a part 2 in a little bit that showcases, make a part 2 in a few weeks that showcases how to interact with this and set up my video script as well once I'm ready to make that public. And the video script would cost five bucks, so just letting you guys know that it would cost five dollars for you guys to use that. And once you do set it up, it would be free lifetime updates as well from me at Newton Communications. If you guys enjoyed this short little tutorial, I didn't go into the database setup, I'm going to do that in another MySQL setup video at a later date. But if you guys enjoyed um, this video, make sure that you hit the like button down below. And leave a comment suggesting me anything else I should cover on this channel. My name is Tamer Shepard and thank you for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And also check out the Communications Discord which will also be linked below. Thank you for watching, see ya.